てるんだリリオンううん、うん何でもないわアルの方こそなんだか元気がないみたい。ニュベール隊長は私の一番の目標だったずっと先輩の背中を追いかけてきたんだそれを追い越してしまったあるリリアこれからどうしていいか何しんみりしてるんだよしてないって<笑>こいつすぐに自分の世界に入るからな<笑>入ってないってばそんなことないよルエ時々しつこいぞ<笑>しんみりがおらないにしてるの見てみろヘイチンチョロード ベルシカどうしたここに来て以来ずっとお前たちを見てきたなぜ話すだけで笑顔になるんだなぜそこにいるだけで安心しなぜそんなに幸せそうにしているわからない幼なじみがいればわかるのかブルーシュか頼む、nope, Shaggy. No、intro today. Just on the treadmill, 幼なじみになってくれないかえっ幼なじみって<笑>もちろん私たちは幼なじみだなリリア Yeah and the crazy part is That's her default swimsuit That's not like a special DLC swimsuit A DLC special swimsuit came with the game And it's just a standard bikini The absolutely crazy nonsense swimsuit is the one that comes with the game Not the one that's DLC You should start making up quiz questions then. That would be a great way to usurp my position. I think that might be too easy to win. So, that's it. 
今度は海兵橋のあたりに凶暴な茶葉が出現したらしいお倒しに行くのか頑張れよあるー分かったって私も行く行くから。Yeah, I've unlocked a new heart mission. そうだ、ある。今度は。
ここに来ている Ah, no running today, just going uh, nice and slow for about eight kilometers. Well, that's something. I'd say I just had to leave it alone, but I think leaving it alone doesn't help things. Weird. And it's a pretty fun game, Chinchilla. Uh, when I'm done with it, I would have happily sent it to you, but of course it's a code and not a game they sent me. Friendship burst. <laughs> 
Romantic zip lining! Uh, seven or eight kilometers, I haven't decided yet. See how I feel after seven. I really enjoy the best friend attacks. Also, spoiler alert, they, uh, they make it really easy to unlock all of the swimsuit costumes. Don't know if that's a plus or not. Excellent quiz question. So if anyone were to answer that, boom! Free copy of Don't Run Away when it comes out. And seriously. Uh, yeah, let me read that out loud. Okay, we got a quiz question from I Am Shaggy. In the film Meet the Deedles, what animal do Paul Walker and Steve Van Wormer try to stop from ruining Old Faithful's one billionth birthday? Is it one billionth birthday or one billionth spouting? Well, 
it doesn't matter. Uh, if you're the first commenter below this video to answer that, you will win a prize. Seriously, if you want to keep pitching questions while we're doing streams, I'm fine with that because, you know, my questions tend to be uh, too specific to my knowledge and hard to answer. Whose birthday is it? Oh, it is old fake. Well, okay, I see what you're saying. Well, then that's double preposterous, because you can't know what day old faithful formed a billion years ago. That would be madness. I think Ernest was scared of everything. Well, that explains it pretty well, Shaggy. Sadly, I have not seen Ernest Scared Stupid, so I do not know the answer to that question. I have seen uh, Ernest Goes to Camp, I think it was called, the first one. I have seen Ernest Goes to Prison, and that is the extent of my Ernest Films knowledge, sadly. As much as I would value that, sadly, I've never seen Meet the Deedles. I know, right? Oh, Paul Walker. Rest in peace. Worst actor who ever lived. He's just, he wasn't good. But he was a likable presence in those Fast and Furious movies. So half of this game is time management, <coughs> excuse me, 
because it's this weird situation where you have X amount of time to finish each mission, right? And in order to finish it, damn it, I didn't bring the electrical guy. Ugh. Anyway, uh, you have to get to each story segment within X amount of days, right? And it's this situation where if you want to friend up with people, you have to do missions only with them and go to a certain location. But going to a location takes a whole day. So you have to pick between advancing the plot or deepening friendships. So you can run through the game or you can try to befriend people. But there's like six people to befriend and you can only do one location a day. So seriously, lots of time management in this one. I'm going to guess Chinchilla. But it might be like Jaguar. I don't know. That's a good animal. I never would have guessed. No, I'm just okay. <clears throat> I'm just okay at guessing. Okay, I think all the enemies are dead. They weirdly piss him off a lot because he does not share a lot of cultural references with me, so... <coughs> it's 
stuff I would find obvious. He's just like, nope, not at all. You damn wetter, bell, well better unlock Liliana's swimsuit now game. Okay, now everybody gets to see her amazing upgrade costume, which is just ludicrous. That's right. It's sexy anime bride cosplay. And then she gets into a crystal coffin because, oh my god, this is ridiculous. I'm hoping I have a stun bonus item. Damn it, no.
I wonder if I'm going to have to beat the game before I get the... Um, I gotta make sure I'm going to the right location. I wonder if I have to beat the whole game before I get the uh, upgrade bride costume. It, def it definitely has that kind of look, doesn't it? With the monster design. There's actually animated dolls elsewhere in the game that really made me think of Devil May Cry. you mean it's a little slower pace though and in order to get extra weapons i have to bring the correct monster with me and then transform the monster into a weapon well that depends on which dante you're talking about original dante or uh remake dante oh good chinchilla's on board with me on that one
でかいのから小さいのまでが魚が青市に侵されたのならそいつが住む水場も同じく汚染されているかもしれないなるほどルースワール島は知っているなえっと初代聖女が夜の木々を倒した場所ですよねそうだその時に夜の木々から飛び散った青市は蛇用の源となっているのだが直接青市が降っていない場所でも蛇用が出現し続けている私は雨や川を通して青市が広がっていると思っている空や海はまだ十分な調査がされていない私の推察が当たっているかはわからない空や海人間の手が及ばない場所ですねいずれはそれも覆えるさ I've never seen the Devil May Cry anime It's uh Is it any good? Oh no, I missed the giant. Damn it! Personally, I just hope they do more Golgo 13 animated series. Do you mean Golgo 13? My favorite, my favorite comic book character of all time? Well, okay, second after Strontium Dog, but it's pretty high.
just a man who uh, who doesn't care. Just a man who does his job, and that's it. And also is the best at the job. Uh, they are incredible stories. Like they're all good, and some of them are incredibly depressing, which I weirdly respond to in my action stories, apparently. Hi. I love that he still uses an M16 because when the comic strip started in what 1965 or 1966 they were like he should have a gun that's from the future something no one's ever seen before a futuristic M16 rifle and now he just looks weirdly ridiculous but I love it anyway そんな要塞も That's pretty boss. One of my favorite uh, Golgo 13 stories is they were acknowledging that, you know, the M16 was looking a little ridiculous. So they actually have a story about him dueling two guys with like modern high tech assault rifles with futuristic scopes. And of course, he still wins because it's Golgo 13. But uh, they, they full on acknowledged how weird it was that he was still using that all these years later. And I don't even remember what the guns were. I'm sure it wasn't a scar because it was before that came out, but you know, decent rifles. That's pretty great. Although, is it really that much of a surprise where you live? Or is that a uh, racist generalization?
Wow, literacy burn. Very boss. せっかく私が蘇らせた体だ。もっと大切に扱え。そういう言い方しないでください。Awesome? Oh, like the president. Money and no ability to smell. Spell. Is the M16 now ge generally recognized as a terrible rifle? The Air Force never stopped using the M16, really? Huh, I didn't know that.
That makes me uh, curious as to whether, like, is that a procurement thing? Like, did they just never get around to it? Did they see no reason not to keep using it? Oh, okay. So it's one of those uh, AR-15 based rifles, like the M4 or whatever. Also, the uh, Golgo 13 origin story I read is just one of my favorite mystery spy stories ever. Like, I think it's called The Serizawa Family Murders, and I can't recommend it highly enough if you haven't read it. It's incredible. You could just make it into a movie, and it would be an amazing movie. I watched the um, the anime, the four episodes of the anime of Crying Freeman. It was, that was crazy as hell. I really did appreciate how crazy Crying Freeman was. It just got weirder and weirder throughout the various episodes. It's no Fist of the North Star, but I really enjoyed it. Yeah, Fist of the North Star is... I don't know if it's my favorite thing, period, but it's in the top five or ten. And I think what I love most about it is uh, how on the animated series, they... Uh, on the animated series, they did a whole bunch of filler episodes that are just garbage and make no sense and don't fit with the world at all, but they're still wonderful. He goes to a medieval village and fights a guy with an army of zombies. It's ridiculous and it's great. <laughs> お前がこの町について I don't hate anime, I just never watch any of it. I've got like the first three volumes of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure manga lying around, and uh, I just haven't gotten around to reading them. But uh, I still love Fist of the North Star. I watched all the Fist of the North Star. There's 150 episodes. I watched it in two weeks, and it was one of the great viewing experiences of my life.
Yeah, Fist of the North Star is, is by a wide margin the best. Maybe the thing I like most about it, and I've told this story before, so I'm sorry if you've heard it, Shaggy, but if not the best thing about it, I do play every anime in a style game, that's true. The best thing about Fist of the North Star is that it is 100% straight-faced and humorless. There are no jokes in the entire series anywhere. And then, one time in the entire series, Ken makes a joke, and the character he says it to is, like, baffled at what the guy has said to him. He's like, I don't even understand what's happening. I don't know what a joke is. It's the best scene, not in anything, but in most things. Oh, Rao, you're such a, uh, you're such a dick. Of course, his brother Kaio is even worse. Ergo proxy. Oh, hey, I'll ask Sincere Fist of the North Star person. Do you have a, uh, a favorite Fist of the North Star character? Yeah, Rin is pretty good, or Lin, depending on who you ask. Uh, for me, now and forever, Thuzer. And it's not that they punch good, Shaggy, it's that they punch quickly. That's the real amazing part about it. You might be thinking of speed race, sir. Yes. Yes. 
Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Are you telling me Sonic can talk? Really? No, it was a joke about how old I am because I only know Sonic from the fact that he had a game on the Genesis in the long, long ago. And then, like every other character, she has an identical twin show up.
いいぞ I mean, you're right. If someone put Harley Quinn in that swimsuit, you'd like you wouldn't question it at all. It's definitely both her style and her coloring. Wait, what's wrong with Moth Lady? She seems super helpful. Yes. 
Yeah, but it's not like she can stop herself, that's just who she is. <laughs> Gotta get a phone call back in three. And we're back. Easel. I suspect all of their uh, bathing suits are made of such ridiculous artificial material that a moth wouldn't need it. I just made a robot, buddy.
let's go kill some more books and then move the story forward. Yes. 
I have gone seven and a half kilometers just now ish. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, do the plot mission and then I'm done for the night. ないのは分かったから、せめて名前で呼んで結構一緒に戦ったと思うんだけど。名前で呼ぶと何か違うのか。それはもう距離感が距離感が変わると戦闘がしづらくなるのでは。いや、別に。あ、ロバーや。で、
All right, plot mission time. Hopefully this goes well. Wish me luck. Easy. It definitely has that kind of vibe. Speaking of which, everybody be sure to join me back here in two weeks for the new One Chanbara game, uh, Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter, which I'll be playing at launch and beyond. You're damn right I linked to a self plug. One Chanbara. If there's one lesson we've learned from the Bikini Zombie Squad games, it's uh, evil is everywhere around in zombie form, and you just gotta deal with it as it shows up. Also, the controls are always based on weird combo uh, cancel, sorry, uh, like, uh, like parry moves are the only way to do any real damage, and I suck at parry moves, so I've never gotten anywhere in any of those games. That's the big message, which is obviously plug. Yes. 
Revolution. Good night, Chinchilla. I'm very glad to hear that. Well, that's just crazy. Although, if she's still in the Air Force, I do understand why she has to be up at 4 a.m. Fun fact, if you walk down that alley, the monsters will fall your monster team will follow you in and you won't be able to get back out because you can't push them. Apparently I forgot to bring my electricity guy, so I can't open this gate. Why do I keep bringing the junk bin lady even when I know I'm going underground?
That would help a lot because you really have to plan out when you're going to go to mi which mission and you have to remember which guy is in which mission. It really kind of sucks that I had to remember. Well, no, I, I didn't have to remember. I couldn't have known. But I had to know that I was had to bring, bring an electricity and a fire guy. And there's no, like, unless I'm taking this, <laughs> making notes all the time, that's just not realistic. I mean, I guess I should consult my videos, but that's another, you know, thing to think about. Dr. Fungus learned a valuable lesson about messing with me. The lesson is, don't. So they forgot to load up the gate. That's not great. Alright, seven minutes left. If there's a boss, it better show up right away. I don't have another fight like that David fight where I had to kill the boss in 90 seconds. That really sucks. Easy. 
Yes. Yeah, that's probably it. Makes sense. I mean, especially now that they can patch stuff out through uh, updates, right? As long as you know the gate's there and the gate gets destroyed if you have the right guy, who cares if you can see it? So apparently, it was good to bring the jumping lady up here. So if you step in poison, you take poison damage uh, for as long as you're standing in the poison. But my butterfly was taking poison damage because she was hovering over poison. <laughs> I like that they let you say yes or no before every boss fight, just in case you're not ready for it. That's nice. Or, like, didn't bring the right character. Is this a train fight? I don't know if I'm ready for a train. It's a train fight. God damn it.
よしとどめはっしゃあああああああいいぞ Ah, the boss super attack. It's not going to do much damage, I'm guessing. Yay, phase one down. He's not taking any more damage and he's doing a special attack. This is not good. He's a Dodongo if they cheated a lot and there were no bomb fruit lying around. Thirty seconds left and he started the move he does where he becomes invulnerable. Are you kidding me? This is really happening. Oh, screw this game. Was that it? Oh my god. Please tell me you saw that I killed him with zero seconds left. You saw that, right? I'm not going crazy. That's right, I get half the friggin' moon back. I killed a boss. Oh, so can you heal? この辺りの資料だよし全部持って帰ろう
結果報告That was a lot of missions we powered through. I should really start upgrading my servans. I never actually do that, and that's a problem. Yay, I unlocked her second friendship mission. You know, using our Renaissance era computers that we totally have. I mean, I know you can encrypt anything with a code wheel, but just the way she said it. Lydia. What? Where? Where did he go? Probably the underground. Let's go. 